Metallica, baby. Let's go, let's go. What, like, kids movie is this in? Is it in, um, is he one of the characters in Monster Thing? This kind of makes me want to like pop. Okay, vibes. All right, so like it's Nightmare City in here, right? Right? Like that's gotta be what's going on. I tuck you in, warm within, keep you free from sin till the Sandman comes. Or like the monsters, maybe not nightmares. Maybe, but maybe not. Monsters, till the monsters come. Like, ah, uh, you're not safe in your bed. Like I'll tuck you in, but like, good luck. Okay, this is interesting. So now we're talking about, now we are talking about nightmares. Like that kid's dreaming he's falling. Those dreams are the worst when you were able to um okay let's let's talk about this for a second dreams of war dreams of lies dreams of dragons like you what sucks so much is you need sleep right like every single person needs sleep and so sleep should be a place where you feel safe and where you feel comforted but so many people experience sleep as something where they don't feel safe where they don't feel comfortable and then nightmares come up. But I think this exists, this paradox exists for people with many struggles outside of sleeping, right? It's like something that we need, that we have to do, causes us a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety. People experience this with food all of the time. It's like you need to eat to survive. And food for people is something that causes a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, right? So what do you do in this paradox when something that you need is also something that you fear. 
it's really, really a tough place to be. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Here's the thing that's really interesting is usually the things in our life that we fear, that we struggle with, let's take nightmares for example. Often nightmares come up because of unprocessed trauma. So it is our subconscious's way of actually trying to help us process through something. And a lot of our fears are that way. When we have fears around food, there's usually something underlying it, an underlying pain, an underlying trauma, something unaddressed that our fear is actually trying to get us to face. And so if we think about that as like what we are afraid of has something to offer us in our ability to overcome, right? Like our fear points to something that if we overcome it, it helps us move forward in our life. If we overcome the fear, the underlying pain that's unprocessed in our, in our lives that causes nightmares, not only will we probably have less nightmares, but we will also probably feel better and experience the day to day differently. If we overcome our fears around food, not only will we be able to eat without anxiety, but also there is probably some body image things, some control things, usually that's around food, that will feel better in the day to day life. So these nightmares actually symbolize something really important, which is a fear that needs to be faced, but is a fear that is also a tool. And the chorus of this song actually gives us a gift. Exit light, so we're, we're leaving the light. We're venturing into the darkness. Take my hand, we're going off to Never Never Land. Let's do it, let's face it, let's do it together. Let, let us go off to Never Never Land and see what the fear, what the nightmare house to show us. Let's go on this adventure. Listen to, the, listen to it that way as we listen to it. See if you can feel motivation to face it, rise up within you. Instead of fear it, we face it, knowing that it has something really beautiful to offer us. avoiding it. Face it. Actually take his hand and let it show you what you need to see. Because that's what fear is. It's a roadblock that gives you an opportunity to find a new and better path. Oh, we're not going to listen to it again? Oh, dang. Okay, let's listen to the chorus again together. See if you can feel it. 355. Let's do it. It's a choice. Go to the fear. Enter it. Let's see. Let's explore. You feel it? It makes it, it's, it sounds possible. That's the gift of this song. Is it allows you. 
to enter the night of your fear instead of run from them, instead of fear them. Because actually when you face them, they get a whole lot scary and they usually show you something super, super, super important. So allow this song to let that rise up with you. It's the difference between the nightmares happening to you, where you feel passive, you feel powerless to them, and taking the Sandman's hand and going off to Never Never Land. It's choosing. It's that moment where you realize that this path that might be scary, that might be dangerous, is the path to victory. And so you take this as an opportunity to choose instead of just let it happen to you. You step in. Mm. It's, your, it's the moment of courage. It's the turning point, the climax of a movie when the character realizes like, this is what I have to do. And so I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna face it. And they get that little like on their face, you know? That's it. Take my hand. Let's go off to Never Never Land. All right, babies, I am obsessed with you. and. If you wanna be someone that ventures into the darkness with other people, we have Metallica fans right now that are in our comments asking for support, asking for help, and you do not have to be a professional like me to offer that support. We will give you an incredible training that I believe in wholeheartedly. It is useful for me in my work, and it will change the way you interact with people and it will empower you to help these fans and we need your volunteer support right now so click the link and volunteer and if you want more metallica content we got it for you we did one with jake lores of august burns red and we did fade to black so check it out